Tonight I'm going to be doing a short update video on how testing has been going with Avatar Frontiers of Pandora on the Lenovo Legion Go. Yesterday I'd, I'd pretty much written this game off uh, as it being unplayable and I do stand by that decision but uh, someone left a comment and basically said that AMD has released a brand new driver and it has uh, fixes in place for Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. So I decided to uh, update my drivers to the latest AMD ones and I disappeared down a rabbit hole of pain trying to get this game to work. Um, it just it just wouldn't start. It kept complaining about um, you know it couldn't activate it. it uh, uh, I just had an absolute horrible time. Um, I would say don't up. I don't think it was related to the drivers, but probably don't update to them at the moment um, because. I think it should be playable on the drivers that you've got already on the Lenovo Legion Go. So I've made a couple of changes since last night. One of them is I realized that the ROG Ally was actually running on 8 gig, not 6 gig. So um, I've upped the VRAM uh, allocation in the BIOS to 8 gig. And I also um, noticed that I think it's it didn't like FSR 3. So when I changed the particular setting for um, for FSR, so if I take you to that, I'll go through the uh, I'll go through all the settings. So full screen as before, 1280 by 800. Um, at the moment, because I replaced the drivers, I've got rid of all my custom resolutions. So. I won't be doing any testing on 1050p or 900p. Refresh rate it keeps going back to 60, but I'm I'm putting that to 144 hertz. Um, it's on FSR 3, and with the new drivers, FSR 3 does seem to be okay. I'll I'll go in and play it on that um, for a little bit to show you, and then I'll show you with um, with um, the temporal anti-aliasing, so TAA, and scaling still ultra performance, fixed for the scaling mode, and V-Sync off, and the graphics. Yes, I'll keep those um, low across the board. Um, depth of field and motion blur turned off. I think it does that automatically. Um, Nothing much more to say about the settings. They're I'm pretty much identical, apart from the VRAM allocation and um, the drivers. So let's get into the game. So it's not eradicated stutters entirely, um, but they do seem a heck of a lot better. Because I've got the drivers, I can't make use of uh, the the non-official drivers I've I can't make use of the performance overlay it just shows zero for frames per second so I've used Ubisoft's frames per second but it's absolutely tiny up in the left hand corner so I'll have to kind of call out the ranges I'm seeing so here we're into the game So is this with FSR 3? Yes, it is. I can tell by the frame rates at the top. So it's fluctuating. Um, so there's a, there was a slight stutter there. Um, so it's fluctuating between high 50s and 70s. Um, just running around. Another slight stutter. So I'd say the stutters are less frequent and um, shorter. Uh, it was more like a pause um, a couple of times yesterday. And that's with FSR3. And we're at 75 to 79. So it's, you know, I, I would almost say that this is playable if you don't mind the odd stutter now and again. I, I certainly would play it with these settings. Um, so let's put it onto the TAA. So, so 
So if I change this to TAA, press X to apply, keep the settings and let's go back in. Okay, so now um, it's not it's it's not um, as high a frame rate because it's not I guess generating frames in between. I don't think <laughs> I'm not sure about TAA what it does, but here we're seeing sixty frames per second, fifty five. Um, in this section, I'm running around and. I'm not seeing the stutters at all. Um, that's not to say you won't get the odd one, but this is pretty smooth. So I would rate it as... So I guess what, what I would suggest is if you're going to play this, um, use the official Lenovo drivers for now and copy the settings I've got, but go into your BIOS and upgrade the VRAM to eight gigabytes and change the upscaler, uh, the temporal upscaler from um, FSR3 to TAA and see how the game plays for you. Certainly uh, on the ROG Ally, um, without updating the drivers, TAA actually has helped um, with the smoothness of the game. Then if it's still stuttering a little bit, it's probably worth you trying to use the latest AMD drivers. It's been, it was quite tricky to do. I followed a video, I can't remember who did it, um, but they did a video uh, around updating to the latest drivers, but there's a couple of key points that had changed in there, mainly a file name. So if if there is an interest, I can do a video on how to install that if if you need to. But um, I think that, you know, the downside is you just have side effects going on. Potentially other games could break. It's non-official, so um, probably not a good idea overall. Okay, so I, th this this is completely smooth. I've, I've had uh, it's 60, 65 frames a second. 800p doesn't look that bad, even on all the, these low settings. It's, it's, it's impressed me. Um, quite a bit of a turnaround for 24 hours but i would definitely now move on to playable so thank you for watching